You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Mason versus Malone. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Mason, you say today will determine the future of your relationship with the defendant, Ms. Malone. Uh, you say you lost all trust when you set up a watchdog to keep tabs on Ms. Malone and discovered that she had men coming in and out of the house while you were at work. And now you believe one-year-old Avery is not your daughter. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Malone, you admit to cheating on your boyfriend but are positive he's Avery's father. Today, you are hoping the DNA test will restore your relationship. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Malone, why are these results so important to you? Uh, the results are real important to me because um, I really want to know if Avery's really mine or if she isn't. And so, take me back. I want to understand the nature of this relationship. Okay, when me and Miss Malone actually first met, we met on um, a website. I took her out on a date. We went to somewhere to eat. So, this started out <clears throat> as a regular courtship. Yes, you Your You went Honor. on a date. Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. Malone, you had a great relationship in the beginning. Yes, ma'am. And, and then somewhere along the line, it started getting a little wishy-washy? Yes, Your Honor. What happened? Um, I found out that she was doing a lot of sneaking around when I was in the house. What kind and... of sneaking? Going through the alleys, meeting people. In the alley? In, in people's cars. <laughs> That's you were that. walking in the alleys, Ms. Malone? <clears throat> yes, I was sneaking around, in fact. But there was a break. You were sneaking around doing what? Seeing other guys. <laughs> uh, but there was a break because he wasn't showing me any attention. We wasn't on a break at all. <laughs> we wasn't on a break. Were you all committed? my knowledge, we was in a relationship Your Honor, yeah, we've been on and off <clears throat> for three years now. Um, right now, we're off. <laughs> Are you living together? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. You're off, but you live together? Yes, yes Your Honor. Honor. It's been like that. How's that work? It's, a, <laughs> it's, it's, it's real awkward. But <laughs> I'm, I'm there for the kids and because I still love Miss Malone. But... And I was hoping that we could work it out, but... So that's why today's results are so important because, truthfully, when I say your relationship is on the line, it's more than just a relationship. It's your home. I mean, you, you all are still living in a home together. Yes, yes Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. All right. You said she starts sneaking. I, I, tell me what happened. I had somebody tell me that she was going out the back door and down the alley to jump in somebody's car. I was actually coaching a local cheerleading team in our city. And a guy had came to pick me up to take me to our gang that we had that day. It was no relations. It was, uh, we were strictly friends. And that was it. So, can you see why he maybe was suspicious about you getting picked up in the alley if you also admitted you were sleeping with other people or... Yeah, sure. I mean, it's already confusing because he said he wasn't on break, but you said you were. That doesn't work. Yes, Your Honor. But um, when we first met, I was young, didn't have any kids. I wanted to adventure, explore my options. Um, it was... When we met, it was kind of forced. When you say forced, what do you mean? He moved in with us after probably a month or two months after we met. No. Moved in with you and... <clears throat> you say us. Uh, a fam me and my family members. Okay, you and your... Fa oh, he moved in. Yes. yes oh, I see what you're saying. So, the bottom line is, very so... quickly after you <clears throat> met, all of a sudden, you were living together. Yes, yes, Your Honor. So, when you say, Ms. Malone, it all just happened so fast, and I was young, I was 19 years old, next thing you know, I'm kind of in this relationship with a guy, but once he's living with me, then it kind of turned into more of a relationship than you expected. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I get it now. Now I understand where we are. So, you all are in this relationship. You start feeling like she's sneaking around. When she... your court papers, you, you went with real, um, detective. Yes, Your Honor. What happened? I had a friend watching my front door who lived right across from where we lived at. Oh, you had a every watchdog, time... right. Yes, Your Honor, every time I went to work. She blamed it on because me and her wasn't having any intimacy or anything like that. Do you remember that confrontation, Ms. Malone? Yes, Your Honor. And then what did you respond? I told him that it was my father that came to the door. And he actually asked my father, and my father said, yes, I came over there that day. Did your watchdog say that there were any other men, Mr. Mason? Yes, Your Honor. Really? There were, there were multiple. Did, 
Did he give descriptions and of all of them? No, Your Honor, yes, it was Your not. Honor. Yes, no, it Your wasn't. Honor, he actually did. No, yes, it wasn't. Yes, Your Honor, he actually did. When I cheated on Mr. Mason, we was having problems in our relationship. Because the simple fact he was not showing me any attention, he just wasn't being a man that I expected him to be. Okay, so let me say this. When it comes to the window of conception, that's what's relevant as it relates to the paternity. So when you cheated, when you were out with this other person, was that during the window of conception? Yes, Your Honor, it was. It was. It was. All right. Now, when you were cheating, did you all use protection? No, Your Honor. Okay. When you cheated, did you also have an intimate relationship with Mr. Mason during the same window of conception? Yes, Your Honor, multiple times. Multiple times. All right, so then that's why we're here. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, when you found out you were pregnant, did you tell the other guy it could possibly be his child as well? Yes, Your Honor, I did. When you told Mr. Mason you were pregnant, did you also say to him, and you know because I cheated, it could possibly be the other guy's child as well? Uh, yes, Your Honor. So, she did tell you that, Mr. Mason? Y yes, Your Honor. Why'd you hesitate? Uh, but... <laughs> I had to find out about the other guy, um, from waking up out of my sleep. Your no, Honor. Your Honor, I, he did I, not. I what happened? I overheard a conversation between her and another individual about she found the other guy on a website and how much Avery and the other guy and the other guy's child look just alike. When I brought it to her attention, Your no, Honor... No, Your Honor, that is she not true. Said, she said she didn't want me to find out like this and that I was awake and I overheard everything. Your Honor, that is not true. However, I told him as soon as I found out I was pregnant with her, he had so much anger, he decides to announce it with a room full of our friends and my mom. Your Honor, I had anger for the simple fact that I was working all these hours trying to provide for my family. And, and she's sneaking with different guys in and out of the house. And that hurts you? Yes, Your Honor. And so you made an announcement? I just announced that she was pregnant. That was and it, it was while, not his. While her mother, while her mother, in while front her of mother everybody was in present, the living room. While her your mother Honor. was present, Your Honor, I announced that she was pregnant. In and France. I may have said that that she's not mine. Okay, well that's a that's an announcement. <laughs> your Honor, I also have a Facebook post <clears throat> on us talking back and forth about our oldest child and my youngest. If, uh, I could go up there and... Oh, absolutely. Okay. Please explain what's going on here. Okay. This is, however, our daughter Avery. This is me, LaQuisha Malone. Do you know who this is? Me again. Do you know this is Avery? Mr. Mason, it's not me. Yes, it is. You can't tell me that's not Avery. Mr. Mason, okay, I'll show you. Me, no, Marcus, don't argue with me. It's Avery. Me, I'm gonna show you Kaysen. This is our oldest daughter, Kaysen. Oh. He couldn't tell them apart. Is why I think he's the father of Avery. When you looked at those pictures, Mr. Mason, did that help your doubt subside? No, Your Honor. Kaysen doesn't have chubby cheeks. The nose is totally different. They look nothing alike. To me, they look nothing identical. Nothing at all. Well, one baby's <laughs> in the womb and one isn't. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Yes, it was Honor. a 3D... It was a 3D, she's it was a 3D to. ultrasound. That's what she's comparing to, a 3D ultrasound picture versus a real picture. Your Honor, at first, it was two guys that popped up at our doorstep saying they were Avery's father. What? There was a guy that came to the doorstep... You said that I had That I had relations with. And you narrowed down to um, one. But we actually wore protection, so he was out the question. When you say this gentleman popped up, he says there's even another gentleman that came. It just is hard for me to believe that you can say 100% certain that you believe Mr. Mason is the biological father when you're admitting that you were intimate with other people during the window. You know, both children could look alike because they share the same mother. Right. Mm. 
Miss Malone, um, your mother is actually here, and I'd like to bring her into the courtroom. Jerome, will you please <laughs> escort Ms. Malone's mother in? Thank you. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Please be seated. Uh, I have to ask you, do you believe Mr. Mason is your granddaughter's biological father? No, I do not. Because they were on a break when she was conceived. And I knew that my child was seeing someone else because they were on a break. <laughs> to me, she doesn't look like him. And I was in the room when she was born. He did not attempt to come up there. I tried. No, you didn't. You don't seem like you're a fan of Mr. Mason. No. <clears throat> no. No, 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 no. I'm not. But your daughter maintains and has testified that she truly believes he is. She loves the man, so, of course, she wants all her children to be by the same person. I understand that. And for her sake, I hope that she is his. For her sake. But as far as him... No. <laughs> is it because you don't like him or is it because you just truly don't believe he is? I know. I truly don't believe that he is. And if he's not, K Sarah, Sarah, whatever it would be, would be, because I'm going to be the mama regardless. I'm going to help her do whatever. Is it really isn't K Sarah, Sarah? Because in the court papers, it says that Ms. Malone mm -hmm. is currently pregnant again. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. How far along are you, Ms. Malone? Um, I'm six months, Your Honor. Oh, wow. Is there a question as to the paternity of this child as well? Yes, Your Honor. He doesn't think that the unborn is his. I did at first until I found proof of doubt in Ms. Malone's phone. This is your son. Don't he look just like you? Your Honor, yes, I had doubt because at that time we were not together. We uh, had yeah. broken up. And yeah, I was with this that. other guy. <clears throat> you had moved on and you were now dating this guy. The she was having yes, a Honor. relationship with him, but and yet cheated still, on still cheating him on him with, with me. Him. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so does he know this child you're carrying could potentially be his? Yes, Your Honor. Is he the same guy that may be Avery's father? No, Your Honor. I think I've heard enough. I think we should go to the results. Jerome? Yes, please. We have results for Avery, and we also have the results for the unborn child since paternity is in question. First result is for Avery. In the case of Mason versus Malone, when it comes to one-year-old Avery Malone, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Mason, you are not her father. Oh. What are you feeling in this moment, sir? I'm mad, Your Honor. But I can't be really mad about something that I already knew. Ms. Malone, this other person, d have you asked him whether he would be interested in being a part of Avery's life? Yes, Your Honor, I did. Um... He has no interest. <sighs> I think we need to move on to the unborn child. Um... Now, in order for us to determine paternity, a prenatal DNA test was performed a blood sample was drawn from the mother and fetal DNA was isolated from the sample. Genetic analysis was performed and a probability of paternity was generated. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Mason versus Malone, when it comes to the child that Ms. Malone is currently carrying. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Mason, you 
are the father. Well, this is a mess. You have to at least be committed to co-parenting and learning how to raise the children you do have together well Mm -hmm. and learning how to be committed to leaving each other alone. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do that, and if you're going to be in a relationship, you need to figure out how to be committed in the relationship. But now you're going to have a complicated situation because Avery, father, is going to need and deserve the opportunity to be a part of her life as well. Your Honor, if he doesn't step up, I'll still take responsibility. And that is admirable. And I want you all to keep in mind as you go forward how complicated and this will seem to her there's going to be a level of confusion that she will feel dealing with this and you all need to be equipped and prepared to address it and to keep her in the forefront of your minds and attention as you're moving forward in this unit, all right? And be sensitive to that. We have counseling and resources for you. I want you to take advantage of it, all right? Yes, ma'am. I wish you the best of luck. Court is adjourned. (laughs) 